हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन तैयारी दिस इज आर सेशन ऑन डेली करेंट अफेयर्स ओके लेट इज बिगिन विद आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन विच स्टेट और यूटी इज द नरेला क्वारंटाइन सेंटर लोकेटेड यू हैव फोर ऑप्शन द राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए डेली The Narela Quarantine Center is located in Delhi and it is one of the largest centers for housing COVID-19 patients. This is the first time that an army has taken over the civilian facility and it has been housing close to 1000 patients and has recently been taken under the management by the Indian Army. The Indian Army will manage the center from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. relieving the Delhi government doctors and staff. The Delhi government doctors will oversee the facility at night. Okay, this is about the first question. Let's move to the second one. Which institute has developed protein-rich biscuits for COVID-19 patients? You have four options. The right answer is. Option A, Center Food Technological Research Institute. The recipe for the protein-rich biscuits is developed by the Mysore-based CSIR. What is CSIR? Central Food Research Institute. Okay, so the it is in uh, it is based on CSIR and also. C F T R I. So, what is C F T R I? That is Central Food Technological Research Institute. Okay, the biscuits have been manufactured by Seven Seas Private Limited based on C F T R I formulation in Noida, Uttar Pradesh, and supply was supported was given by the. Indian Society of Agricultural Professionals of New Delhi so that was as per the regulations of food safety and standards authority of india that is nothing but fssai so these biscuits they have been provided to the all india institute of medical science that is aiims that is in new delhi so the biscuits they contain 14% of protein compared to the normal biscuits which comprise of 8 to 9% protein of its total constituent okay let's move to the third one which space organization will launch the demo 2 mission you have four options the right option is option d nasa and spacex so this is the right option so nasa and spacex they have announced their collaboration with launch astronauts to the international space station with the demo 2 mission in may on board with the spacex crew dragon spacecraft So the Falcon 9 rocket will launch astronauts Douglas Hurley and Robert Behnken into the ISS on 27th May 2020. So from where will it be done? It will be done from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Demo 2 mission is the last flight test for SpaceX before certifying the crew dragon spacecraft operational for lengthy missions to the space station the nasa astronauts will also test the spacecraft system for the first time while in orbit okay so let's move to the fourth one on which day is the world creativity and innovation day celebrated the right option is option c 21st april the world creativity and innovation day is celebrated on 21st april every year and it is a united nations day to increase awareness regarding 
the role and the innovations and creativity in hostility development of humanity and to reach the united nations sustainable development goals okay the first world creativity and innovation day it was celebrated on 21st april 2018 just 2 years back okay and it was also created by the united nations resolution 71 bar 284 okay let's move to the fifth one what is the name of the online data pool of human resource for combating covid 19 that is launched by the government you have four options the right option is option b covid warriors the central government has launched an online data pool of vital human resources for combating and containing covid 19 The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has created the data pool on COVID warriors which includes doctors, nurses and other health professionals, volunteers from NCC and also Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, National Yuva Kendras and also the ex servicemen which can be utilized by the administration at state, district or municipal levels. also the web portal it will be consisting of a state wise and district wise information on the availability of the human resource from various groups in addition to the contact details of nodal officers okay let's move to the sixth one which organization has been made the coordinating agency for the development of covid-19 vaccine you have four options the right option is option d department of biotechnology the department of biotechnology functioning under the ministry of science and technology has been designated the nodal coordinating agency for the high level task force which will look into the development of vaccines to combat covid-19 The task force will consist of members from Ayush, ICMR, DRDO, CSIR, Niti Aayog and the Ministry of Science and Technology. I hope you are clear with the sixth question. Let's move to the seventh one. NIRDPR has joined with which organization to train the community leaders to combat COVID-19? you have four options the right option is option c unicef the national institute of rural development and panchayati raj that is nothing but nir dpr i'll repeat again the national institute of rural development and panchayati raj they have joined hands with the united nations children's fund and they have trained over 28.33 lakh community leaders on risk communication to combat the covid-19 pandemic so for this official and members from several self help groups that is hsgs and also panchayati raj institutions and uh, national service scheme they have been picked up from karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh so relevant materials like handouts faqs posters and audio visual documents were shared with all the trainees as a part of the effort by the communication resource unit of nirdpr and the unicef okay i think you're clear with this let's move to the eighth one which is the first green state in the country with no corona virus case it's a very very interesting question so the right option here is option b goa yes you heard it right option b goa the smallest state of india goa has become the first zero covid-19 indian state with the last seven positive cases also turning negative so has not reported a positive 
case since April 3, 2020 and has thus become the first green state. The lockdown will continue in the central government. Until the central government, they'll be deciding and the state's borders with Karnataka and Maharashtra will be remained closed. Okay. Let's move to the ninth one. Which is the first state to get a geotag community kitchens? The right option is option B, Uttar Pradesh. So Uttar Pradesh has become the first state in the country to geotag community kitchens located in 75 districts on 19th April 2020. The Uttar Pradesh government collaborated with Google and Geotag Community Kitchens. So around 12 lakh food packets are produced by 7,386 community kitchens per day. The Remote Sensing Application Center, they have developed an application which provides information regarding the community kitchens and shelter homes to help the migrants. Okay. This is about the ninth question. Let's move to the tenth and the final question for the day. Which is the most digitally skilled country according to the Gartner 2019 Digital Workplace Survey? You have four options. The right option is option A, India. So, according to the Gartner 2019 Digital Workplace Survey, India has been found as the most digitally skilled country in the whole world, followed by the United Kingdom and United States of America. So, although the top position of India has been attributed to the large Gen Z workforce population of the country with the desire to learn digital technology. The survey found that 27% of the digital workers are skilled experts in digital technology for work purposes. Such a proud moment to India, right? So yes, students, I think you all are clear with the 10 questions that we have discussed today. So tomorrow I'll be coming up with another set of MCQs for you. Until then, stay safe, stay at home, stay tuned to online Tayari. This is Meghna signing off. Bye.